Hi, this is Christine. I'm here today with another little journal that I made. I made this one in um, an art journal theme and it also comes in this little pouch that I stitched. And it attaches with the, the elastic. And again, it has the, um, the little elastic pen holder. So it's handy to have. And I'll just take the journal out. Now, because this was made to be art journal themed, I kept the cover very plain so whoever gets it can decide how they want to decorate it. But I had this paper, and this kind of looked like splashes of paint, so I really like that. And I've got this other colorful paper for the back cover and the spine, and I have this little die cut for a title or a date. And I used an old book that I recycled to make the covers. And also there's a little charm attachment on the side here and there's a little heart. I don't know if you can see that. And some beads in here. There's a little the little heart with the angel at the top. And the beads. So here's the inside cover. There's a tag that says Perfect Harmony. And I used a whole bunch of different papers that I had left over in my stash, but I used colorful papers and that kind of brings it together. And this is kind of artsy, so I really liked this design for the, the front signature. There are three signatures in this journal. So here I have this little tab that folds down like that, and so you can write something in here and treasure these precious moments. That's just a little card that I included. And on the inside, there's a pocket, and I stitched the edges of the pocket. And I've got some more tags in here. Again, it's the same style of paper. And I did something a little bit different in this one. I've got some coffee and tea dyed pages in here, but I also colored some pages with watercolor in the spirit of art journal. So you can still write on here, but I've got different multicolored pages in here. This was um, coffee or tea stained. And then this is mixed media paper. It's really thick, so you can do some, some artwork on that. And then again, I've got some more watercolor paper and some more tea stained paper. And this is a, a pocket, an envelope. Again, some more mixed media paper. And that's the first signature. The second signature, this little flap opens like that and it's just a little mini envelope that you can tuck something in here. And again, I like this paper, very artsy looking design. And then here I've got some a tag, and this is another envelope. You can tuck something in there. And there's a little tag here where you can put a title. And this is um, it's the fabric that you're using for cross stitch. So you could actually go ahead and cross stitch something in your book or use this for whatever purpose you like. And again, some more pages, mixed media paper, and a watercolor. Another envelope. Now these are not acid-free sheets of paper. 
and especially with the um, the coffee and tea staining more mixed media paper I think the mixed media is is um, acid free and then here's another pocket and a tag and finally this is the third signature and this little flap opens up and you can write in there dream big and you can put some photos on here but anything that will touch some non-acid free paper should probably be um, a copy of a photo that you print because it's not photo safe if it's not acid free here's another tag another two another three tags again another pocket that's stitched and this paper was kind of rough and I, I like the look so I included it in the journal and that's some more mixed media paper and again that's just an envelope so you could always put some design paper or draw on here or whatever you like there are no embellishments in here so whoever gets it can embellish as they see fit give their own style to it so that's my little art junk journal i hope you have a nice day and happy crafting bye